man, it is so great to have you, especially going into Arizona week, and a lot of us know why. But before we get to that, you have a unique story, not just because you're a long snapper, but your journey to Oregon. Could could you tell me what brought you to the Oregon Ducks as a long snapper? Yeah, yeah. So my recruiting process was um, pretty pretty interesting story and I enjoyed listening to all your stories about your recruiting trip to UW and and everything a couple episodes back but um, I had a very interesting recruiting experience just because of yeah being a long snapper so in high school I played football and volleyball volleyball is obviously a a Southern California and made a decision um, about halfway through sophomore year that football was the route for me I knew I could probably get college paid for so started doing um, long snapping lessons and, you know, I still played linebacker and safety and stuff like that, but knew um, actually snapping in college was a way to get school paid for and um, probably where I could get to where I wanted to go to. So started focusing on that um, primarily about halfway through sophomore year and my sophomore year and had a lot of interest from a ton of schools. I was um, looking back on the rankings. I was, um, second or third in my grade. In fact, our kicker that was in our class, Rob Beard, his best friend was the number one long snapper in our class and is still in the NFL, Aaron Brewer. So it's a, it was a crazy kind of connection how I met Rob Beard, um, knowing like basically his best friend being the best long snapper in my grade. And so um, him and I got a, a lot of attention from various schools. And, um, you know, fast forward a little bit, I... Um, the first school that showed a ton of interest was Duke and essentially right after they started showing all their interest, their whole staff got fired and I had kind of stopped responding to a, to a bunch of other schools because after my visit, you know, my parents were pretty all in on me going to Duke. And then the call that I, you know, hoped and prayed about for, for years came because I grew up a massive USC fan. And so um, coach Carroll, you know, called me and had me come up for a visit and, um, you know, met all the, you know, all the USC legends from, from that run, Mark Sanchez and that whole crew. Um, and, you know, had a great time visiting USC and they, they, they never, you know, sent over a letter of intent or told me, you know, you have a full scholarship offer or your preferred walk on or what they basically just kept um, stringing me along throughout the recruiting process and saying like, no, we're going to get you into the school. Like, stop talking to all the other schools. You're, you're a Trojan. You're in. And about mid-May, I was up there for our, a spring practice, and their secondary coach um, kind of pulled me aside. And it was a coach that I never really had a relationship with and said, hey, we, um, we are going another direction. We really want you to go to Saddle, Saddleback for two years, Saddleback JC, for two years and see where things stand after that. And basically come to find out they had um, a D lineman that, you know, cleared NCAA clearinghouse at the last second, that that's why they were stringing me along with my scholarship and everything is um, they, you know, they didn't want to give away that spot if this guy ended up getting cleared. And so um, that happened on like a Saturday and my phone rang on Tuesday and it was Mike Bellotti. And I was, you know, I was driving home from the gym and it was Mike Bellotti calling me. And um, obviously, like, that was the year that Oregon um, at that point had only lost to Cal. It was pretty, it was, um, it was the Dennis Dixon year. So it was 07. And um, basically, you know, I had, I had followed them that whole season just because I was keeping my options open. And so, long story short, um, Bilotti had me up for a visit and I fell in love with the school right away. I, I sat in his office and um, talked to him for like a half hour to tour, tour the facilities and came back into his office, maybe, you know, three hours later. And he's like, all right, well, if you want to come here and I like cut him off, I was like, Oh no, I'm definitely coming here. Like committed right on the spot. And that was that. So long winded story, basically saying, you know, Bilotti contacted me on a Tuesday. I came up there the following weekend for a visit and I was enrolled in summer school with all you guys uh, less than 10 days later. So pretty crazy story. 